And as we continue to keep a close eye on the latest coming in, let's just take a step back and talk about the implications of the U.S. election outcome for West Asia specifically. Few regions around the world will be watching the outcome of this election as closely as West Asia. Lebanon, Gaza, Iran, other parts will be looking to fathom what the next incumbent of the White House has in store for them and for the war and the situation in the region. Our next report telling you more. The ravages of war. The people of Gaza have rummaged in this nightmare for the last year and more. Multiple peace efforts and ceasefire pushes, many of them led by America, have fallen through. And it's boiled down to which incumbent of the White House, if any, can pull them out of it. For months now, Gazans have been hanging on to every word and expression flowing out of this US election race. There's a feeling that President Joe Biden has failed them. So will Donald Trump's high promises of keeping Israel under control come through? Or will Kamala Harris's expressions of sympathy on the humanitarian horrors help? It's all speculation and hope for now. Inside Israel, it's taken the shape of the sympathy with Gaza factor that has risen strongly over the months. Here too, there's an acceptance that the remote control lies in Washington and ending the war will ultimately be decided from there. I support Trump because he's pro-Israel. He's always been good for Israel. Um, changed the capital to Jerusalem. And... Uh, we just, all of my friends and all of my family, they've voted for Trump, so we hope he wins. We are have only one country in all the world. We are have small country in all the world. Uh, a lot of people in the world hate us, and Trump can save us, uh, and, and we need him. We need him so much. I'd like uh, Miss Harris to win the election, and that's because I'm pro-democracy and I think Trump is a horrible man and I don't see any reason anyone would trust him with anything that he's going to do for anyone, so I'm for Miss Harris. Vice President Harris has made clear that if she wins the election, she would continue the policies of the Biden administration. Harris has said that she would continue to work around the clock for a hostage release and ceasefire deal. She's also said that Hamas cannot be allowed to control Gaza after the war and that she would work towards a two-state solution. If President Trump wins, commentators expect a more hawkish stance in the short term, although Trump has reportedly said to Prime Minister Netanyahu that he would like to see the hostages freed and the war over by inauguration in January. Shifting focus to another Israel target nation, Lebanon and the fight against the Hezbollah. There's been a spurt in action in South Lebanon this last month. Large parts of capital Beirut's southern suburbs lie in ruins. Among the people, the America factor and influence is a dominant concern. This is talk. Whatever America wants happens here. This is what we are seeing. For us to come and speculate about what will happen, only God knows. God willing, it will be good. They are saying that if Trump wins, he will de-escalate the strikes on Lebanon. If that happens, we will be grateful. And front three, Iran. Washington's deployment of its B-52 bomber in West Asia as temperatures climb in anticipation of an Iranian counter-strike against Israel prompted Tehran to label the U.S. as a destabilizing presence in the region. As they look to the U.S. elections, hoping for new approaches on clearing the war clouds. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.